everyone, how's it going? My name's Jeremy, and today I am unboxing the TYST 4ME vMix control panel. This, as you can see, is pretty big. It just barely fits in my overhead shot here. Um, this came directly, it uh, looks like it was drop shipped to us. And these TYST control panels are very interesting. I'm just gonna jump into it. I just unbox, I keep calling it its little sister, as if they're people. Um, and now I'm going to be unboxing this one. This one especially intrigues me. Uh, I'm gonna get into why in just a moment. But the size of it, uh, I think, is going to be more of a conventional 4ME size. So as we unbox this, it just came in a shipping box, and this one actually gives us an outer box and an inner box. So let me... Uh, uh, cut here and then cut back and the outer box is over there now. So I <laughs> did a little bit of damage there when I was trying to get it out. Um, let's open it up though. Box number two. And this is looking a little bit more like the smaller box I did last time. Okay, open this up. This is an unmarked box by the way, right? Yeah, this one's unmarked layer of foam and let's get that out of there. And all right, here we go. Now this is super <laughs> interesting. It doesn't have the uh, side uh, padding that comes on it. It just is kind of in this box, but I guess it had an external shipping box anyway. So that's probably okay. And this really takes up the entire thing. Let's move this over here and cast this aside. Okay, so first thing, I don't see a USB cable. Yeah, no USB cable. Let me see if I forgot it. Okay, so they didn't ship this cable, but this is the cable that you need. It is just a USB uh, type A cable. So I guess I'm going to get another one or maybe ask them to ship me one. But. Anyway, this is what I was expecting to see in the box and uh, it's probably supposed to ship with it. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say that you're probably supposed to get one of these with it. Let's toss that aside. And now we get into the actual exciting part here. So this is the 4ME Advanced Panel. It is a much bigger footprint than the other one and I am intrigued to see if they use the same parts. So, Seems like this joystick is about the same. They add some, some labels here to tell you telephoto, wide, pan, tilt, and um, other than that, this feels the same, a little bit plasticky. Um, something I'm curious about is, no, there's no way to kind of angle it up. So this is very, very flat. I'll probably want something to kind of angle it up. Um, otherwise, it, it just doesn't, I don't have a great view of all the buttons, but that's okay. So right here we have these volume faders. This is what I found interesting about the other panel as well. You don't usually see volume faders on a uh, panel like this, but the thing is a lot of vMix operators are one person operators. So it's really nice to have something like this. So that's actually awesome that they thought of that and put those on here. You can assign a, a camera um, here to your PTZ. So that's very useful and call some presets here. I'll be really interested in uh, how this integrates with the configuration file. Over here we have our cam buttons uh, and it can also probably, it looks like it can recall camera uh, PTZ presets. I'm really interested on in how that works with the configuration file for vMix that they have on their website, uh, if at all, because there's also a PTZ controller on, uh, on here as well. So I'm interested to see how that'll work. So right here is an interesting configuration for transition buttons. We have the cut and auto button right here, but let me tell you, as someone who rests my hand on the T-bar quite often, that concerns me a little. I might not use the T-bar on this. If I pull out its, its other one here, this is more what I'm used to where I have my T-bar here and then my thumb will rest on the cut and auto button. Now, every TD works differently. You might like that, but I have not seen this configuration before. Let me know in the comments below if other switches are like this or 
if this is just a design that just kind of happened this way. Let's put that back. Over here is what I'm more expecting. We have a few different auto buttons. I like that because you can do different kinds of transitions. Uh, and we have a lot more transitions up here. Let me tell you, that's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, we have a fade and a cut here. I find it interesting that these are pre-configured probably inside the configuration file, whereas this auto button, I'm assuming that you can uh, reassign what that is. So that's quite interesting. Fade to black is right here. Doesn't look like there's a fade to black here. So that's just how it's laid out. So interesting layout, very curious to start using it and see uh, if it works for me. Up next, we have a bunch of buttons, no shift key here. So they are expecting you to have 24 or under sources here, unless I'm missing something, but it uh, doesn't look like it. I guess we have this sub here. We have some custom controls. There are other ways to do it, I'm sure, if you have more than 24 inputs. Though um, you might be thinking, well, that's not very common, but in vMix, it really is very, very common to have more than 24 inputs. Um, especially if you have the, this big of a switcher, you might have uh, you know, uh, inputs that are doing compositions, uh, maybe like a four box, a two box. Um, so if you have a big show, you actually might run out here and without a shift key, there's not a quick and easy way uh, to, tr to transition to it. So. Not a huge deal, but something to know. Uh, we also have uh, an additional mix here that allows you to uh, switch between one of uh, four of the vMix outputs. And that's something that I really like how this panel has laid out. I like that you can control any one of the four mixes here. And then you also can control any one of the four uh, uh, overlay channels. They call it DSK or downstream key here. And what I'm assuming this is probably for, but we'll, again, we'll have to get into the configuration file, is you hit the DSK that you want to delegate or the uh, overlay that you want to delegate, and then you assign it here. Um, I'm interested to see how, how that works, but that appears to be how it's laid out on this switcher. I really like these custom control buttons. This is something that... Um, is again, really well thought out for a vMix control panel. Um, you know, I'm sure I can assign this to do a script, um, a specific shortcut, something like that. Um, as someone who does a lot of scripting in vMix, really excited that that's included there. Video control, which you'll be able to assign to uh, a vMix input, um, very useful, especially for playlists. A lot of people use playlists here. Um, excited about that. Uh, for those of you who are maybe doing more of like a, a news style broadcast, I think that this is going to help you a lot. Um, with a, maybe a control button here, you can change playlists that this is controlling. That would be a super cool feature. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want us to look into that um, because that is going to make a lot of people's workflow much, much easier. Multi-control, really interesting. We have more options here for record, multi-record. Um, I believe this live button is probably gonna do the, the stream. Um, and I have the external button here. Oh, I just put it together on the smaller uh, switcher. That's what it is, external. I'm so not used to having a panel dedicated and, uh, you know, hard written there for these buttons on vMix, uh, the external button, that's, that's really cool. They have it here because that's something that you need to toggle on all the time. If you need to restart your vMix uh, session for audio outputs, for example, you restart it, the external might not turn back on depending on your settings here. So having some sort of visual indication here that says, hey, flip your external back on and being able to just go, that's super cool. I already went over downstream key uh, control here. Very useful. Like I said, a bunch of transitions here um, and just a lot of buttons here. Overall though, it's super exciting to see uh, some of these boards being built for vMix power users, bringing more people into vMix and giving them easy access to the powerful features that the software has. I'm really excited about that. And as a company that uses a lot of different types of switchers, I can see a lot of TDs especially really enjoying this uh, as kind of that traditional switcher panel vMix hybrid uh, panel 
that um, can really unlock things, especially for on-prem shows and cloud shows. I think that this is going to be particularly uh, an interesting solution. Please let us know in the comments down below if you have any questions. I anticipate that we are going to use this, put it through some paces, so excited to answer those uh, down below and uh, chat with you all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.